All right, so just recently we have a new trade for the Toronto Raptors. So Terrence Ross is going to Orlando Magic for Serge Ibaka, and uh, uh, Orlando Magic has two uh, draft picks from the Raptors as well. Are they getting two or are they getting one? Oh, that was one. Uh, actually, yeah. they're getting one. Oh, okay. I was about to say, the Raptors have two picks, but they gave one away. Uh, uh, and that pick that they gave to Orlando Magic is one of their lesser picks, so it's not too high, high high up. So they're still in a good position. But Serge Ibaka for Terrence Ross, I think it's a good move. What, what do you guys think? Because they, they need that power forward spot. They've been weak for the longest time. Yeah, it's, it's hard to not sound like a cheerleader and like a super homer to say this trade is perfect. But the trade is perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. You're replacing Terrence Ross with Norman Powell, who a lot of people would argue is better uh, in pretty much every aspect, except for maybe three-point shooting. Probably Terrence Ross has him. Um, and he's cheaper. That helps the cap space. You're giving up a pick that's in the 20s, which is a kind of a, could go either way. And you're getting a guy who's um, an elite shot blocker, an elite three-point shooter, spaces the floor for DeMar and Kyle. Like, I don't know what there's not to like here. Like, did, can you think of uh, a negative of this trade? I don't know if I can. It's hard because people, people, when people dissect this trade, this trade, they, it's hard to like look at it and see something to talk about that's negative. Because Sergi Baca, he's been having a good season uh, at, over at Orlando, even though they have they're in a losing uh, a losing team. He's been averaging almost nearly forty percent beyond the three point line. Even though we'll have him um, in the post with JV, he can still shoot from three, and that's what we probably would need, especially with Patrick Patterson out right now. Exactly. We, we, yeah. we never know what could happen exactly. with Serge, because yeah. he is he could play both defensive and offensive, and he could play during a small ball or big ball, and definitely can help JV even in practice or even on the on the actual court. I was just about to say that. Like, what, is, what does Ibaka do to the Raptors offensively and defensively? What kind of things can you guys point out that we'll see from now on? Uh, the Raptors will have offensively and defensively. Big thing for me is everything that Patrick Patterson does on the floor for the Raptors in terms of spacing, where you're giving more room for DeMar and Kyle to kind of do their ISO, drive and kick, get that defender close to the three-point line. Abaka does better. I think a lot better. A lot, exactly. A lot He's a better yeah. three-point shooter. He actually has a higher percentage than T. Ross this T. Ross, season, yeah. funny enough. Um, and, and then if, if the ball does go to him, He's going to knock it down. He's got a little bit of a, of a face-up game. I'm not sure how his offensive rebounding is, but that, JV's a pretty he good offensive be, rebound. Yeah, he'll be on the boards. For now, the, the thing is, 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 does JV become expendable if, if they go small all the time? Like, I, I'm not sure. And that's what we saw last game with the, when they faced against Charlotte, and then they, they almost lost that it, game. It, it, he sat Imagine the having that, right? Imagine Kyle Lowry playing the point, or you have Powell or DeLon Wright, DeRozan, and then you have De Carroll playing the four, and then, and then you have Ibaka. On the five. Like, do you think that's enough for them to overcome a Cleveland or a Boston I think team? I think it's huge because the Cleveland has struggled against teams with bigs that like that, that go big, strong bigs, and that's why I think they had, they beat the Warriors because Bogut got injured. Yeah. Bogut was hurt, and that was a big difference maker. So if we can put out, I say we like I'm part of the Raptors. <laughs> but yeah, we are. We a are. rotation, we are. A are. rotation of JV, Abaka, Patterson, and then Bebe. Like, there's, there's no rest. Like, the Cavs have to match that. You can't play Kevin Love at the five with two of those bigs in there. And plus, I Kevin agree. Love is out for six weeks. So that the gap of, like, how many games was left, Raptors can bounce back from their fourth four spot and back to the second seed yeah. team. And then they could probably go from there. Exactly. They got to start. They got to start winning quick because yeah. Washington is on it's, fire exactly. and, and looking amazing. Atlanta's pulling it together. We'll see what they do at the deadline. Uh, like honestly, yeah. we ha we still ha just have to wait until Ibaka actually plays with yeah. this team or even starts practicing with this team. He's he's actually going to rest for at least more than two weeks because he, has he, he hasn't rest. He's he, 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 he played he play for yeah. the Raptors past they two games since he got traded. So I mean, it's a good it's a good time for him. Just it was relaxing. a perfect timing of trade because now it allows them to have this time to kind of. Uh, accommodate or like accumulate them into to the offense to, to exactly. understand how the offenses run through the uh, the Raptors and their defensive, right? And I think it, it was just a perfect trade. In the, we were trying to find things to say about it, but I think There's it was nothing. perfect. We can't say anything yeah. else saying yeah. that Ibaka is going to help this team. Like classic Masai trade. Exactly. I, it's great <laughs> to see that you know what he's doing now. Masai is really pulling through. Uh, a lot of the things that we're hoping to see from the Raptors, and that's great to see. Nothing bad about Ibaka trade. It was perfect.